My empire will not be denied. Must I say it again? My empire will not be denied. What's up, YouTube? We're back once again for me to introduce you to another great YouTube painter. See, I'm trying to make sure all these painters that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys about on this channel get the recognition that they deserve. Because you know what? There's so, there's so many... How, how can I say this? How can I say this, YouTube? There's so many underrated painters on YouTube that put in good work just as much as some of the bigger YouTube painters and just don't get the recognition. You know, some of the channels are new, like this guy has a new channel. And YouTube is so crowded, it's hard for everybody to get that shine. So I'm just doing my little bit to keep bringing y'all people that you should be watching. These are people that should be on your radar. So another one I'm going to introduce you to is my man, Underground Paint King. Now, Underground Paint King, he's new. I think he's been around about a year now. And Underground Paint King has, has absolutely been genuine the whole time. Now, y'all got to understand how important that is. You know, especially online. You know, people online, you know, it's it's the internet. We all know how that goes. But there's... It's, it's, it's always good when you run across genuine people and the people that I shout out on this channel are genuine people. These are people that, you know, take that time to come and leave comments. They take that time to say something encouraging or, you know, I talk to some of these dudes online and offline. So it's like. It's really good whenever I come across genuine people, I want to make sure that they, they, they get the recognition that they deserve. And um, you know who else? Mean Gene Customs. Let me let me say that. He's going to be in the comments. Mean Gene is probably the most supportive dude on YouTube. G he takes the time, w whether he like you or not, Gene takes the time to absolutely slide through everybody's comments and, and say something nice. And that's a, that's a talent right there. But me and Gene Customs, when y'all see him in the comment, y'all check out his page as well. But um, let me let me get back to Underground Pain King. Underground Pain King is a hardworking dude because he's got a, he, he's, he's got a, a great shop, actually. I'm rather impressed by his shop. But he has a great shop out there in um, Michigan. And uh, he puts he puts in work and he holds down a gig. So for a man that puts in time for his family, a man that puts in time for a regular nine to five and puts in time to run his whole shop by himself, that's something that needs to be acknowledged. So lucky for me, Underground Pain King decided to give the Grand Seven clear a try. He has been supported before it even came out. Soon as I mentioned that I'm going to be dropping it, he was like, I'm looking forward to trying it, bro. And he did. So right now, I'm going to show you guys some clips from him. You guys know the routine. You go to the link in the description below to view the whole video. Show him some love, please. This guy puts in work by himself. I love that because, you know, I put in work by myself and... All these other painters that I've been shouting out, they all put their work by themselves. Except for True Grit Customs. He's lucky enough to have wifey with him. But the rest of us are out here in the field. We out here getting it in. So that's why I want you guys to check it out. Support the people that I'm shouting out, please. Doesn't take much to go give them a little time. They all have great content. They're all putting in work. They are worth you hitting the subscribe button and clicking the little bell click the little bell people gotta click the bell and uh that's it so without further delay let's get to his video
Grant Sevens clear coat. Sprayed it at 35 pounds. I saw a uh, far away do it at 35 pounds, so I tried it at 35. And uh, I must say, man, this clear lays down nice. I mean, nice. I mean, that's no buff. And what you're seeing is dust. So it's not even trash in the clear. So I clearly understand why he named it what he named it. Because probably the very first time he got the formula back, got the clear, after he got it made, then he sprayed it to make sure it was what he wanted it to be. He probably said, oh my. And I know. If you remember, we had a dent right there.